In today's video, we're kicking off a new series on the channel. And with that series, it's going to come a lot of different algorithms, different coins, because we're going down the avenue of spec mining. And I thought it'd be fun once a week or once every two weeks to introduce a new algorithm or cryptocurrency that has hit the market. And it might be very well a brand new one that just came out within the last few days, or it's something that's been around for a little while, but doesn't have a lot of traction behind it. So this should be a lot of fun. We're going to grab one of my graphics cards and we're going to set it up right here behind me on this test bench and we're going to mine with it show how it does we're going to show where to set up a wallet and how to set up a wallet and hopefully you guys learn something from it so let's go ahead and dive into today's video What is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel well in today's video we're going to be talking about the coin ethereum pow and i know yes there's some frustrations behind it there's some speculation behind it it kind of came out of nowhere and was very abrupt and was a direct result of those not interested in ethereum going to proof of stake so in today's video we're going to talk about ethereum pow we're going to talk about a wallets that are available out there as well as we're gonna take this guy, which I just picked up today, which is a Rog Strix 3060 Ti. This card is massive and one of the largest that I actually have. And I picked it up on Facebook Marketplace today, locally for $300. And I couldn't back down, I had to chase after it. Uh, the guy was off asking for 350 and I chased after it for 300 and he took the cash deal and we met just a few hours later and it worked out great. So I'm going to be taking this card, we're going to set it up on the test bench directly behind me, and we're going to mine with it and just show how to do that, how to set up mining within HiveOS with Ethereum POW. Well, let's go ahead and jump into today's video, and we'll start off talking about Ethereum POW wallets. Okay, so let's talk about wallets. So I actually spent a pretty decent amount of time looking into some additional wallets out there, and I've actually been very unsuccessful. The one wallet we're going to talk about today is the one that the developers recommend, but I check things like ones that I commonly use like Exodus or Zelcor. Uh, there isn't like a core wallet available for it. Um, I didn't find it on things like uh, crypto.com or Coinbase. There's just, they're not supported on there yet. I would imagine they will be down the road based off of the activity with uh, ETH POW and market cap and stuff like that. So we should probably see that rather soon but we're going to follow down the route of what the developers are recommending and if you guys aren't familiar with ethereum pow right here on their website they say ethereum foundation is shifting to a proof of stake fork while we decided to stay with proof of work ethereum it's what it is plain and simple so on their website go over and click get started you can scroll down to set up ethereum wallet and claim airdrops and here we are now there's a nice step-by-step -step guide here on how to set up your Ethereum POW wallet. Uh, I've done this already. I'm not going to go through showing it, but if you guys need a step-by-step -step guide, fellow YouTuber Chump Change went ahead and set this up. I talked about him actually in a previous video where I set up my iPolo to a mine Ethereum POW. So I'll put a link directly down below to that step-by-step -step guide on how to go ahead and set yourself up with Ethereum POW, and that'll put you on the right track. And this uses their recommendation here. It's MetaMask. It is a um, Google Chrome extension. Uh, I've had a few of these um, over over the last year or two that I've used with different other cryptos. Um, I've been happy with it. So go over and check it out. There may be some other secure methods, as I said, leave a comment down below if you know of them. All right, let's go over. We're gonna unbox our ROG Strix 3060 Ti and we're gonna set it up on our test bench. Alrighty guys, I thought we'd break out the GoPro today. To, I haven't done that in a while to go ahead and unbox this here. So. Picked this up off of Facebook Marketplace, as I talked about. Um, I've actually seen, I've been trying to get my hands on more 3070s, but uh, they're actually going pretty quick. So I was able to go ahead and find a lot more 3060 Ti's. So I was like, hell, let's go for it. Now, I didn't buy this strictly to mine Ethereum uh, POW on. My goal is actually to use this guy as a good tester for all the different spec coins that we'll be doing over the next few weeks here. I thought it was at a good price point. I think the 3060 Ti is a little bit more um, popular than the 3070 only because of the price point back when cards were popping it was a little bit easier to get our hands on 
So let's go ahead and get this unboxed. One thing you'll notice is it does say LHR in the top right. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. And uh, we'll open her up here. Now, I did go ahead and unbox this previously when I bought it. Uh, that's kind of the rule of thumb. I make sure that I unbox them. I make sure that we're checking the model number and everything on them. And uh, so that's why we're out of the plastic already here. It was in the plastic to start with, but holy cow, this thing is massive. These, these cards get me every time as to how big they are. They're just insane, purely insane, the Rockstrix model. So here we have the Rockstrix. It's a three fan model, uh, pretty massive heat sink that you guys can see along the side there. But this was actually kept in really good condition. I mean, there is no wear and tear or anything on this. I don't even think this was like cleaned. I think this is just like kept really brand spanking new. The guy told me that he swapped it out for a 3070 Ti in his gaming rig. How honest that is, I don't know. Look, he only had it, looks like plugged in with one monitor. He's missing one plug there. These are usually hard to come by. You don't usually find your cards with these because most people take them out, you lose them, uh, stuff like that. But yeah, this is our 3060 Ti. Okay, so it's been a few hours. Um, I actually ran into a boatload of issues with my te test bench that I was like going ahead and uh, glorifying there. But um, when I plugged it in, my, my new 3060 Ti and booted, it didn't show any GPU at all. And I was like, oh man, like did I buy something? And then it would have been the first time that I bought a graphics card and then it was like dead, like a bad buy type of deal or I got like scammed or whatever. And I was concerned about that. So I actually took it out of the test bench, put it into another rig and it worked fine. So I was like, okay, cool. It's definitely the test bench, but that took a little while to troubleshoot. And then the test bench, uh, I ended up figuring out that it had to do with um, the HiveOS version that I was using. HiveOS, for some reason, was not identifying it on that rig. So I ended up having to flash a new solid state drive. I got like the latest version of HiveOS. I went ahead and flashed it onto the solid state drive updated it, got it into my test bench, and bam, we were back up and running and it was showing the card. If you guys are looking for a guide on how to do that, how to either flash HiveOS on a USB drive or put it onto a solid state drive, uh, I'll put a card in the upper right hand corner as well as a link down below. I have a video that literally, I call it the ultimate guide to installing HiveOS and it runs through those. So now that we're in HiveOS, which is awesome, um, we need to go ahead and do two things. First thing we need to do is we need to set up our ETHW address within HiveOS. And the second thing we need to do is pick a pool and then set up our flight sheet. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so in HiveOS, we've gone over to our wallets and I've gone ahead and copied to my clipboard my ETHW wallet from my MetaMask. Once again, as I said, if you're looking for a video step-by-step -step on how to set up your ETHW wallet, Chump Change XD has a great video talking about how to set that up with MetaMask please go over there and check it out. So once we're in here, we're gonna hit add wallet in the top right. And now where it says coin, we're gonna to start to type ETHW, so ETHW. And there it is right there. It doesn't have like a ticker or any um, logo to it or icon to it for the crypto. It's just ETHW. If you don't see it, you can physically just type it in. Uh, you could come in here and start to just type it in and it'd be good to go. Under address, paste in your address there. And that is my ETHW address. If you want to send me ETHW, go for it. So we're going to put in here uh, ETHW, and then I like to put after it where the wallet is, like what program, whatever. So we're just going to put MetaMask, and then we're going to hit uh, Create. So that has created our wallet. And now it's time to go over to our flight sheet. Okay, so now in Hive OS, we're going to go up to Flight Sheets. We're going to click on Flight Sheets, and we're going to create a brand new flight sheet for this. So for our coin here, we're going to hit the drop down. <clears throat> excuse me and we're gonna hit ETHW selected right here. And then it's gonna ask us to select our wallet. We're gonna click the drop down, and bam, ETHW MetaMask, which is great. Now it's gonna ask us for the pool. Now, there's a several pools out there that we can pick from. Today, we're gonna to talk about Hero Miners. So first off, let's pick our Hero Miners pool, and there are boatload, look at all of these pools here. Hero Miners has, I think, by far the most pools that out of all of them out there. So I'm gonna select SSL, for the URL for security. And then we're gonna go with USA East and then we'll do uh, USA West just to be safe and we'll hit apply. Now, if you are in the process of doing this, let's say you're doing this for Windows or anything like that, you can actually go over to Hero Miners website here, herominers.com. I'll put a link down below if you guys wanna check it out. And guys, look at all these pools over here. All these pools are available right here. 
uh, they have a pretty decent amount of them uh, out there. So you can see there's ETHW and it actually will tell you, you know, it's the ETH hash algo. They have, uh, there's 51.26 Terra hash on it. And uh, then it has the pool hash rate, which is they have about 377 giga hash out of that 51 Terra hash, which is a crazy amount. And you can also see it shows you miners. So there's 499 miners on Hero Miners right now. So we're going to click on EW. And then in here, you can find all the information. So if you're manually adding this in, like um, I did this the other day, actually, if you guys saw my iPolo video, I added in the actual um, pool address from right here into my Apollo to mine on Apollo, which worked out really, really well. Uh, but you can view all the information over here if you're interested. Uh, this is the best place to get started. So back to our flight sheets, we've selected here miners as our pool and under miner. Now we can go ahead and pick. Well, this is Nvidia. So we're going to go ahead and go with the T-Rex miner, which is a no brainer there. And then down below, we're going to just go ahead and put EW and we're going to put um, Hero Miners for the pool. And then I like to put down uh, T-Rex for what miner I'm using. So I can easily identify with my flight sheets what we're mining, where we're mining and how we're mining, which is the nice way to go. So now we're going to hit create flight sheet. All right. So our next step is to apply that flight sheet and then we're going to see what this does on stock overclocks and then we'll go ahead and actually overclock it properly. So we're going to come into our flight sheet on the rig and we're going to apply the flight sheet that we just made, uh, which has our ETHW in there, uh, our wallet, ETHW MetaMask. It has hero miners for our pool that we're mining to their US um, East and West Coast servers, and then we're using T-Rex Miner. So let's give this a few minutes to go ahead and apply, and let's see how we're doing on ETHW with stock overclock settings on my new ROG Strix 3060 Ti. Okay, guys, so we've been up and running for maybe one to two minutes here, but you guys can see that we do have our 3060 Ti. We're mining at 51.81 mega hash there. Now the power's through the roof. Look at that, 196 watts. Like, oh my gosh. There's no way that we can run on this. So jumping back to Hive OS, let's talk about overclock settings. So because this is running on ETH hash, we can go ahead and use some of our older, as I call it older now, like it was a while ago that we mined Ethereum, but our overclock settings there. So if you guys have not checked out, Seb Heslow has an amazing series on all of the different 30 series cards and all the algos and hash rates. Well, he has some amazing spreadsheets out there that show some fantastic numbers for efficiencies for top hash rate. So here, for example, I selected our 3060 Ti and you guys can see he has labeled in green here the most efficient one, which efficiency is measured by taking your hash rate and dividing it by the watts. And he's gone ahead and done that here. And so that would say about 60.3 uh, is what we should be getting or looking for uh, for our hash rate. And that should put us at 136 watts at the wall. Now we could go a little bit higher, 62.4, that's the blue one that he has selected here. Uh, but at the wall, we're at 152. So we're gonna go over to our rig and we're gonna overclock it using negative 502 for our core, 2600 for our memory, and 120 for our power limit. Gotta love it. It took way more work than it needed to, but we got our overclock settings in place. Uh, I actually tried quite a few different ones and Hynix, man, Hynix is such a pain in the butt. Uh, but we're good to go now. We needed to go with a locked core clock. Um, I did, you know, I was discussing on the sheet here going with something like a negative 502 and a 2600 with a power limit of 120, but it literally just kept crashing. Like it did not like it whatsoever. So I went ahead and just for all intents and purposes, I went with the 62.4, which is dead on. Uh, I mean, we're at 62.4 exactly. Uh, and that was a locked core clock, 1500. 2600 memory and we're good to go so in the software it says we're about 145 uh for our watts but if i go ahead and take a look let's just take like we're about 180 let's just round it up there and my my rig behind me um uses a uh default without a graphics card uh watts of 27 watts um so that allows us to minus it out so we're about 153 watts which is pretty close actually uh, 152, which is right off that sheet there. So pretty close and accurate, but we're mining Ethereum POW, which is awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this run for a few days in my test bench here. 
um, and then I will go ahead and take it offline on the test bench. But what I wanted to do was put, if you guys want to go over and check out over on Hero Miners, um, I went and I will put a link to my wallet address. So you can come down here and you can actually see my rigs up and running now. Granted, it's a little bit behind uh, on the pool side here, uh, but we'll go ahead and take a look at this. What do we want to give it? A half hour. So let's give it a half hour and let's check back then and see how we're looking on the pool. Okay, so taking a look at uh, Ethereum POW, you can see now on CoinGecko, it's about $10.41. Um, I'll let you guys decide on value, on profitability on your side of the world. Uh, it depends on a lot of factors. But if we take a look at a 14-day, you can see we spiked up quite a bit and ETHW is sitting up there pretty, pretty high. Now, we can't talk about spec mining without talking about liquidation. And there's two sites out there I found so far. Uh, one, which is KuCoin, which you can do ETHW to USDT, uh, and you can go ahead and convert that over. So I'll put this down below if you guys are interested. And then there's actually a second one, which I haven't used before. I've used KuCoin, but a lot of people have referenced this one and referred to this one. So just tread carefully. Um, and this is Bybit. You can come over here and you can come up and type in ETHW. And when you come over and do that, you can actually see they offer ETHW to USDT. Uh, which is available in here as well so you can come in and swap trade sell everything on this platform which is fantastic it's always good as a miner to have an avenue i'm still looking for a uh, solution to go from ew to btc that would be amazing uh if there was a pool out there that converted that for us because i'd love to mine ew but get paid out in btc if i had that option available for me so if you guys do want to go ahead and check out my mining experience over on Hero Miners, I'll put a link directly down below to um, Hero Miners. It's ethw.herominers.com. And then as well as uh, my wallet address, if you guys do want to go over there and check out how I made out mining over there. I would recommend that you guys go over and check out Hero Miners. I have been moving more and more rigs over to them. Uh, my Ergo rigs are over on Hero Miners right now, as well as now my ETHW rigs are over here. I've just had a really good experience um, with them, their uptime, stability, and performance. But make your own judgment. Go over and check them out, herominers.com. All right, guys, so that is going to wrap things up for today uh, for our first kind of spec mining series video that we're doing, talking about a variety of different coins out there. Uh, I will be doing one in the near future. Uh, I've been looking at doing one on Caspa. I haven't mined Caspa yet, so I'd like to go down this exact same video format uh, avenue, but with Caspa uh, and testing that out on the same 3060 Ti. I want to use the 3060 Ti as kind of my guinea pig moving forward. So we're going to try Caspa. Uh, I do want to tap into Avian again. Not sure if any of you guys have mined that anytime soon, but I was like, hmm, it'd be nice to kind of try that out. Uh, I do want to try this Meow coin out that some people have spoken about as well. Uh, but if you guys have recommendations for other coins that you would like to see me do some spec mining of in this same format, please leave a comment down below and I'll go ahead and try to add them to the list and we can test them out over the next few weeks. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video on mining Ethereum POW on Hero Miners. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.